Today we're going to practice drawing the five group way. Five group means a row of five items. Five group drawing is when groups of five are separated so that it is easier for students to see the different parts. This is how students should draw and represent numbers so they can easily count how many they have. Let's take a look. For my five group drawing, I could represent it as a house. Inside my house, I have an upstairs and a downstairs. In the upstairs, I can only have five. One, two, three, four, five. No more circles will fit upstairs. The rest of them need to go downstairs. One, two, three, four, five. Grouping our objects like this will make it easier to count. Let's practice with some numbers. I'm going to show you a number and you see if you can draw it the five group way. Let's start with the number eight. Two, three, four, five. After five, I need to draw the rest on the bottom. Six, seven, eight. I know that five is on top, so I can count on. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job. See if you can change your picture to make the number seven. To make the number seven, you can erase one and count. Let's see, five, six, seven. Good job. Let's go ahead and erase our board. Show me the number three. One, two, three. Great job. See if you can add some more and make five. Hmm. I know that I have three. Let me count on. Three, four, five. Great job, friends. Now let's count on and draw this many. Let's draw nine circles. Remember, we already have five on top, so the rest need to go on the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stop. The number we're stopping at is nine. Great job, friends. See if you can represent the number four. Hmm, one, two, three, four. I know that I can get rid of the ones that have a line through them. Let's check our work and make sure we only have four. One, two, three, four. Great job. Four, hmm, now I need two. I have four, I need only two. One, two, so I'm gonna get rid of these two. Now I have two. Let's see if we can add some more and make the number six. Remember, we can only have five circles on the top. One, two, three, four, five. Magic five, now we need to go to the bottom. Five, six, well done. Let's see if we can represent the number one. That one's easy. One circle. All right, friends, here's a challenge for our last number. Let's represent the number 10. One, two, three, four, five. Magic number. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five on top, five on the bottom. I know that five plus five equals 10. Great job, friends. Thanks for joining me.